Mudgy here with uh, an update. I uh, just wanted to share with you the the uh, progress we've been getting with those pepper plants, those seeds that uh, we're having a hard time germinating. Well, uh, patience paid off. We, uh, we got all kinds that germinated. Um, actually, this Hungarian hot wax pepper took almost three weeks to germinate. Now I'm sure there's ways you can speed that up, get like a heat mat or something and place your uh, seed trays on that or you know get some really good weather in front of the window with some heat so you know heat and moisture is really important not too much moisture but uh, enough to uh, get things going anyway they've germinated and here we go we've got sweet bell pepper uh, <laughs> I put DD on this one because it's, uh, it's a word I can't pronounce, but I'm going to try it. Sweet bell pepper. It's a deuce de spain, de spain something like that. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, should come up. And we got another red sweet bell pepper. Uh, actually, these are maybe called a bullhorn pepper because they're a little longer, uh, but they're sweet pepper. And that's a carmen. They all kind of look alike right now, but as they get a little bigger, they're going to probably take their own look with their leaves. Really noticeable with the tomatoes, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, Alapino peppers. We've got uh, cayenne. That's the heirloom pepper that I uh, saved seeds from last year, and they came up really good germination rate on them. I'm going to get a real big harvest this year. I'm going to save a bunch of seeds and then uh, if you guys are interested we'll have some of those seeds for you um, the Hungarian hot wax moving on we've got broccoli cauliflower um, you notice I have some cups have three to a cup and that's obviously because they're smaller and my space is limited so for now you could house three to a cup so they get a little bigger obviously the bigger ones like to have their own room and there it is um there's a little uh maybe some homework for you guys out there my black eyed susans and my galardias they germinated really good well the black eyed susans really well germany or the Galardi is germinated maybe only 40, 30 to 40 percent or less. But they kind of stayed the same size for the last week or so, not really grown too much. So if anybody knows anything about that, that would be cool to fill me in. Maybe that's what they're supposed to do, and maybe as time goes on, they will take a big growth spurt. I don't know. That's all part of the fun. She's an experiment. Uh, disappointment up here was my onions. I mentioned I usually grow by sets. This time I started from seed, and uh, if you remember the last video, they were in a bigger tray. Well, I downsized because only about 30% of them uh, germinated, and so there you go. I'll have to look into that, what I did wrong, moisture, heat, who knows. Uh... But I'm kind of happy about this, garlic chives. Those are seeds I kept from last year. They came up. They're doing well. Now on to the tomato factory. I've got all kinds of tomato plants. And uh, if you guys are looking for plants for your garden, I think I'll have a few. Not sure how I'm going to distribute them yet, but uh, tomato plants are coming along real well. And I just transplanted... Maybe another 40 seedlings there upstairs in front of the window. So there's certainly lots and lots of these. And pepper plants as well. Broccoli, cauliflower. Anyway, we got Manitoba in back there. That's a beefsteak tomato. We've got the cherry tomato, tiny Tims. Uh, there's a big word. Uh, determinant, I think they call them. They're like a dwarf, bushy plant. These ones you may have to stake them, you might not. I probably would anyway, but some 
sometimes you don't have to with these smaller bushier plants they call them determinant and doo -doo -doo -doo. look at this definitely a look of its own this is the chocolate cherry um, another cherry tomato obviously but they, uh, the fruits uh, ripen purple and they're supposed to be really sweet so that's uh, gonna be interesting they're coming along good uh, another one with a look of its own this is our brandy wine beefsteak tomato this is one of the most popular year loams you can get uh, this is an indeterminate if I'm using the right words correctly indeterminate that means this is gonna grow vine like really tall and you're gonna want to stake this one but if you can tell you know the leaf is definitely unique compared to some of the other ones so there you go this is Mudgy for Let's Grow It. A little update.